Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I am back with another video. Today I am going to talk about that creating the service account for Terraform in GCP. What is the service account? The service account is a special kind of account generally used by an application side. It can easily to authorize your APIs calls. By default, each project having that up to 100 service account you can able to create that you can easily to control your GCP resource. Yeah, you can also request that quota increase if necessity. So next question is the two important difference between the service account and user account. So service account you do not have a password also you cannot able to log in with that browser also. But the user account we can able to do these things. When I come to the service accounts there are associated with the private and public keys that are used to authentication your JCP resource. When it comes to that user account, we can't able to do these things. So these are basically they are different between each other. So we will go to the Terraform code, we can see that one by one. We are at the Visual Studio. We can see that uh, Terraform file one by one. So first I am going to check on that uh, variable.tf file. So this variable file, it be containing the list and some the strings. I am configuring that according to my projects. So first you will see on that account ID. So I am mentioning the account ID here. I haven't mentioned any the default value. This value I am getting from the variable. So another thing is the descriptions. So why I mentioned the description is help to identify my uh, service account while creating these things. So you can see the things the default value I am mentioning is that managed by Terraform. So next variable is the role. The role I am mentioning as the default value called list. So I am getting that input value from the strings and converted into the list actually. Next variable is that project ID and that also the type I mentioned the strings. So we will go to the Terraform TF files for So you can see I think the project ID and account ID I am mentioning the similar value because I want to clearly make it the simple that was the reason only I make it the duplicate value but you can make it the single value to call with the Terraform. But in my case, for simplicity purpose only, I make it the two value, but similar things. Then is the roles. The roles will be I providing with that storage.admin, but the particular service account I am going to attach with that storage admin only. But you can add the multiple roles also, depends upon your project needs. And then I am moving to that sa.tf file. So here the first block is the data block. So this particular block I used to that fetch the data from that in GCP console. Yeah, so in this case I am fetching the data from the project ID or that any information you can easily get it. Next resource is that service account. Usually I am creating the service account. This account underscore ID and the display name. So this particular resource is going to create a service account. The next resource is this Google project IMA members. Basically here I am updating the policy and grant that role to that service account. You can see here I am using the two set function basically that I am removing the duplicate value from the list. Also uh, I am using the data block to fetch that project ID. You can uh, call the variable also just for that sake I am mentioning in the data blocks to fetch that project ID here. Then I am using that for loop conditions to uh, pass the value one by one. And then member parameter I'm, whenever I am creating that service account that value I refer from here it becomes with the email IDs. So that is I'm um, including in the member section. The next resource is Google service account keys. Here I'm creating that uh, RSA keys. So next block is local underscore file. Whichever the keys I created now I'm storing as that uh, JSON. Because uh, when, uh, when you want to perform with the Terraform Active or other application, you can pause this JSON file into that provider section. You can able to do this thing. For simplification purpose only, I am converting it to the JSON. But it depends upon the use case. You can use that keys also in some other use case also. But in my case, I am just for using the JSON. I will show that provider section how it will be useful for some other Terraform code. Whether you want to use the JSON file. Okay, I am moving to that provider.tf file. So you can see the thing, the provider section, I am using that credential is the JSON I am following. Basically, the service account only I am using, I even I am allocating the IMA role to uh, provide the privilege to create that uh, certain activities here. Next one is that output.tf file. This output of TF file I am mentioning, the first one is the email ID. So whenever you are creating that in the service account, so it comes with the email ID. So that value I am fetching here. 
Next one is the naming, the naming of the service account I am getting the value. Next one is that unique ID, so the unique ID also I am displaying here. So these are the things I am defining in my code. Then we are moving to the terminal, we can executing the Terraform code. So I am clicking the terminal option, I create the new terminal. So I am executing the Terraform init command to download the, all the libraries. Yeah, so Terraform plan command I ignore. I, I am already I cross verifying the things. So directly I am going to executing a Terraform apply command. Right, asking for the user input. Just I give the yes. Now the service account is creating. After that the roles will be creating and associated with the service account. So these are the functionality I define in my Terraform code. Yeah, my Terraform is successfully executed. So you can see the thing, the email ID name and the unique ID. So these are the things I defined in my output .df file that value will became. So now we are moving to that uh, Chrome browser to validate this thing in GUI level. So I'm that my GUI browser now. Just I'm clicking that I am. Choose that I am. I'm going with that service account here. Uh, if you scroll down here, you can see here that is a manager by Terraform. This is a description I defined. So I'm just I'm clicking that in service account here. Yeah, I'm going to the permissions. We'll see that which permission will be coming. So I'm clicking the view access. And uh, click that analysis. So I'm running the query. Yeah, you can see the thing that I granted that storage admin. So this is a way we can able to create that service account and associate it with the IMA roles. I hope this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.